Hey guys, Zach with Canon Provisions here, and we just wanted to take a couple of minutes to show you guys exactly how to configure your new H2GO Caddy for all of your gear. Come on in for a closer look. All right, so we're just gonna cover a couple of the quick features here of the H2GO Caddy. So the H2GO Caddy, it has two concentric loops of Velcro for the device, the H2GO, and your brine bottle, which can be stowed in the front here or over to the side, depending on what your organizational needs are. On the top here, we have, this, is a, this backer is a, teg, a laser cut Tegris backer with an integral uh, lanyard tether uh, notch up here, and then it's backed with Velcro, but it also comes with this nice little Velcro delete. So if you've got it in a bag or using it as a neck lanyard and you don't want the Velcro to adhere to everything, you can leave that delete in place. Otherwise, if you're going to stick it to something, just peel that guy right away. So on the front side here, the main compartment is where we typically end up pressing the H2GO into here. So I can slide right down into the center storage position. Now the outside is where your brine bottle will go, but before we put that in, we're gonna put that little tether on, which just helps you pull that in and out. This is gonna be a little tight on your threads. Just kind of walk it down. You can spin it if you need to, just kind of help rotate it down into position. Go ahead and reinstall your cap back on, and this is the perfect time to install your valuable asset tether. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by passing it through and doubling it back on the H2GO. So I'm gonna just Slide that up a little bit so I can access that a little easier. I choose to bring it through like that and then I bring my clip all the way through. Er, all the way through. Now I leave the cord lock on here because I may want to come back and I might want to tighten that down. For example, if I want to keep that snugged in all the way on there, but you can remove that if you so choose. Now what I've been doing with the, my tether here is th threading one through the other. That way, especially if I pull this out in the field or in the dark, if I accidentally yank this out or that out, I don't lose them, I keep them, I keep them linked together. So what I'm gonna do is slide this guy right back down and then I'll just go ahead and use my little clip right here up on the tie down notch. So from there, I can slide my brine bottle right inside. And as you can see, you can slide it right to the front or we can slide it over to the side. Now, with the excess that we have here, you can pull that out, neatly coil that up, and stick the excess right into the front side, keeping a nice, neat little package that you can stow or secure wherever you need it to go. So these are available in all three configurations, meaning just the H2GO Caddy itself, the H2GO Accessory Bundle, which is gonna include the Valuable Asset Tether, as well as the H2GO Caddy, and the two Quick Start Water Data Cards that go to the H2GO, as well as the deluxe version on the website now.